All right, we just checked out of the Carving Surf Pastel. Highly recommend, I know it's a kilometer out of the way, but such good value for your money. We just had breakfast, which was included, and it was lovely. So many things, so many dishes, pastries, fruits, coffee, tea, juice, everything you could want. And the hostess is so welcoming and so kind. It felt like we were at the, like, on first class experience, like five star hotel at a nice restaurant or something. So highly recommend. And again, price was really good for a private room, 40 euros, so. Today is day 22 of walking and we are hitting the road. The weather is a bit overcast, but as any other day, we got this. After a quick ascent of 100 meters, we made it to Muros de Nalon, finally, and we rejoined the path pretty easily. Just found the main street and we're back on our way. Let's do it. One of the nicest parts about walking the Camino in the spring is all of the flowers blooming around us. It's always something different. Each week, I swear, we see a different flower. Maybe it's because we're passing through a different portion of Spain with a different local flower, but it's been so beautiful to witness all of this nature blooming. Yes, indeedy. I know a lot of people on their Camino have the experience of lots of silence and contemplation and meditation almost, like your walk is your walking, moving meditation. But that hasn't really been our experience here on Ellie and Senshi. It's a lot of talking and telling stories and playing games. Today we're playing the celebrity game, if anyone knows it, naming different celebrities and fictional characters with names that start with each letter of the alphabet. So, you know, everyone walks their own Camino and ours, we try to keep fun and lighthearted, keep ourselves entertained and makes the days fly by and we have a lot of fun doing it. And welcome to Concha. This is one of the most amazing viewpoints in the past three days. Back on the beach! Just magnificent. Okay, I just want, want to let you know how Camino appreciates the style on some people. Right here. We have a hat, beanie, then it goes green, green, and then we have the sandals with socks on. Socks and sandals with just a splash of mud on top. Like, Camino doesn't really care how do you look, as <laughs> yeah. long as you're comfortable and in good shape. So, don't Come worry. On. I mean, have you ever seen a green so vibrant is this. Officially only three and a half kilometers left for the day and the weather held up really nicely, but we're starting to feel a few raindrops. So we're hoping we can make it into our hostel within the next 30, 40 minutes and hoping that the rain holds off just a little bit longer. This is the unluckiest we've been. We're entering it, we're three minutes away from the hotel and it started really raining. Ah, run! Oh my goodness gracious, no! Oh come on! Oh the dog is running to over there. Run! 
We almost made it out dry and just in time we got soaked. Full wet, full, full wet here. Almost there, two minutes away. And finally, we made it to Soto de Luena. Yay! Is this us? Oh, yeah! Oh, and we made it. And we made it to our hostel for the night. And here she is. We're staying in Hostal Paulino. And you can see right here, it has some special pilgrim rates for a double room during these dates, 30 euros. Not too shabby, let's check it out, huh? We are checking in. We actually, the reception is with the hotel right next door. So this is the room. It has two twin beds. I don't know, it feels really clean. Of course, it's nothing special, it's 30 euros. Like the bed in the albergue goes 15 euros per person, 20 euros per person. So this being private, it's a really good price. I would say it feels clean. The sheets are really clean. This is the outside. There is a lot of plants, so I guess that attracts mosquitoes. So we're just gonna close this just in case. The shower is outside, it's a shared shower. You have a sink right here. That works. And there is also microwave you can use now. There's also a coffee machine that you can make yourself coffee on them. And don't forget the complimentary drinks when you arrive. You can choose beer, juice, or water. <laughs> Seems pretty good, I would say. They also offer a Peregrino menu for 15 euros in the restaurant in the hotel right next door to the hostel um it looks really nice the reviews are highly rated but it starts at 8 p.m personally that's like a little past my bedtime <laughs> so i think we're gonna head to the supermarket just get some quick cheap dinner and chill out here and maybe maybe we go to the dinner and if we're feeling it if we're hungry again at 8 p.m which we very well could be we'll check it out but if not, we'll see you guys tomorrow, back on the road, as always. It's important to mention that Soto de Luña in 1992 received the Prince of Asturias Award for Exemplary Town. The historical artistic complex formed by the parish church of Santa Maria de Soto de Luña and the rectory, former Pilgrim's Hospital, has been declared a World Heritage Site linked to the Camino de Santiago by UNESCO in 2005. This sucks. It's cold, it's rainy, we're tired still sick but the show must come on just checked out of the hostel let's do this thing Whew. for today's route leaving Soto de Luina there's actually two choices one you could do the Camino that goes through the mountains with a highest elevation of 715 meters or you can take the Camino de la Costa which goes closer to the coast and the ocean which actually still has a similar amount of elevation gain it's just spread out throughout the day so you're going up down up down up down instead of one gradual huge ascent we are opting for the Camino de la Costa because when we stop for coffees the barista suggested that to us, said that there are some stunning beaches, showed us pictures, and it looks spectacular. So we're taking the coastal route, and we only have a few days left in the Asturias, right up on the coast, so we're soaking in all the time we have left here. Also a good lesson on being flexible. Don't have your mind set to something, be open to the universe and the Camino to show you what your path should be. We haven't even left Soto de Luina yet and the rain has started. So we're ponchoing up, we're preparing ourselves, and as always we're pushing through. Holy mama. Holy mama. 
FYI, if you guys are ever interested in any of our gear, we have it in a link in the description all the time on all of our videos. You can grab anything we're wearing or using there. Come on, don't you want that? This fashionable poncho. <laughs> okay guys, just after the roundabout when leaving Soto de Luina, just after you climb that hill, you'll get to a roundabout and you'll see the signs. This is where... This is where the paths diverge from the coastal path and the mountain path. Make sure if you want the coastal path, you stick to the right. The mountain path goes inwards, inland to the left. Just so you know. Thank you, Ellie. You're welcome, Sensi. <laughs> as much as the luck changes all the time, there are ups, there are downs, we seem to, knock on wood, always have good luck. Every time we get close to the sea, the rain stops, just in time. You can barely see it, but there it is in the distance. We are arriving at the coast now. And perfect timing, the rain cleared up, at least for the time being. And we are really hoping these clouds come to us and not these bad clouds. Like on the video, it looks like from this angle when you record, oh my God, it's so nice. It's so sunny. There's a playground. And then you turn that, dun, look dun, at dun. that. Dun, dun, dun. Treacherous, and we're just gonna try to or <laughs> in a little sandals. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it's a big deal if we're in the hiking boats or whatnot, it'll be okay. But do a flip, Ellie. Who is the strongest? All in the sandals, amazing woman, MVP. MVP, 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 MVP. Okay. Oh, baby, it's, it's up. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby, I was raised. You may have been a, no. a bit faster than me. I think it's raining again. Just 5.1 kilometers in. We have a really nice welcoming area right here, living the forest. It's a really nice. Gracias, senor. To Navejana. Navejana, my bad. With a little pilgrim. Again, we have to pass over a little stream, which was probably much smaller a bit ago, but it has been raining. So here goes that time. Again, in my wet socks and sandals. Keeping them drier. Do a big jump. Do a big jump. Okay. Don't slip. Nice. Come on. Parkour. Parkour queen. Parkour. Woo. Nice. Woo. <laughs> yet again, another river to pass. I think this one's the biggest yet. Here is a perfect example of why the coastal route is not necessarily any easier than the mountain route today. It is constant, constant ups and downs. Constant, constant. just up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill. And it's all in mud through the forest. Ooh, it's like the elevator business, right? It has its ups and downs. <laughs> And Ellie is some oh my God, I'm stuck in the mud. deep oh. mud now. Oh. Really, oh really deep mud. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, there's literally no way to get around it. Sandals for holding. Ah, oh, look at that. Can I swear on YouTube? That's no, not. It was this rock that demolished her. Don't be fooled. 
It tips. What are those? <laughs> As if the fashion could get any worse. Oh my a little gracious. mud accessory. Just as the weather was looking brighter, it started to be sunny. We're hoping in the next town there's a menu d'aldea and we could stop and have some food, some paella maybe even if we're lucky and I can dry off these piggies, get clean and if there's oh not, God. I'm going to break down and cry. It's the only thing keeping me going right now. We keep chanting, Daldia, Daldia, Daldia. Of course, four minutes after that fiasco, we came out to this clarity and the Pedro. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, they're vicious. And the vicious guys. Oh, <laughs> Of course we came to this paved path and sun but Ellie is already done we're just gonna sit and change and she got attacked by a big spider she said she was done but she always pushes through somehow we have officially arrived to Bay Bayota 12 kilometers in but right now Ellie is questioning everything known to mankind <laughs> We're really hoping they will have Menu del Dia. It's right there, Casa Ferdinando. We call in advance, they said 3.30. They serve Menu del Dia now, it's 3.10. So let's hope they have it. If they don't, I think Ellie's gonna go home, to be honest. <laughs> you She's guys will see. Here. See a fit. See me break down. But at least my feet are dry now. Thanks, Angie. They have it. They have it. Yes. It was all worth it. All worth it. For you, my love. We literally ordered three minutes ago and we already have our food. We were so hungry. It was that fast. It looks amazing. That was amazing. And it's Senshi's first time having paella. Yes. Let's see. Mm, that's also chicken. Mm. It's not just seafood, it's mixed. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Anything so would be hungry. good right now. Mm. We are done with the first meal. This is the second. Look at the size of that. This is the beef stew and along with the paella we also got bread and some drinks and the whole thing was 13 euros okay somehow i don't know how but we made it for the dessert i guess we'll do it for the science so cheers for real oh my goodness oh my god this is why I love these small places. Everything here is homemade. Literally, the cakes are homemade. That's why I never eat in big cities. Always try to find these small gems where they serve the, their locals. And that's where you'll get the best things. You want to try the blueberry oh, cake now? <laughs> oh, really? Oh my god, let me let me try a bit more love. Uh-huh. You need a second test? Oh <laughs> I swear to god this is the best cake I have tried in the past year or two. Oh, really? I swear on everything. The blueberry? Both of them. This is better. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. If you're in Bayota or passing through Bayota, we saw some restaurants before, but we still saw this as a head menu del dia, and honestly, this is the best meal we had so far on Camino. It's Casa Fernando. Make sure to 
make a stop right here. Menu del dia goes 30, 13, 50, 13 euros, 50 cents throughout the whole journey. They're like super transparent. They have menu del dia outside. They have the full menus here. So they're always transparent. They make lunches for locals. So that's why they're not like putting their prices so high. The food is homemade. I would highly, highly, highly recommend. If you're in Mayota, Casa Fernando, highly recommend. Again, not sponsored or anything. It's just providing you guys with some good info. And this would be our choice. So please, Casa Fernando, 1350. Super big meal, super nice one. <sighs> I am feeling better. The morale is higher. My feet are dry, so that helps. And I have Senshi with me who keeps the spirits up and that always helps. So highly recommend bringing a Senshi with you <laughs> as well if you have access to one. I know they're pretty rare, but we're feeling better. But the Camino will knock you down sometimes. Life will knock you down sometimes. It's a part of life, right? It's inevitable. And you can stay there and wallow about it, or you can get back up, continue on the path, keep following the way, and you end up having views like this as a reward. Yes. Yes. Once again, after a super painful, long, long day, and 18 plus kilometers, we have finally made it to our accommodation, Casa Ina. Judging by the reviews and everything said, it looks really, really nice. It has a lot of rooms, private ones, and it has a kitchen, living room, bathrooms, nice ones. So I really hope it lives to expectations. It was only 30 euros for two person. That's what we get on call talking a little bit of spanish but let's see how it is again da, da, da. Da, da. and here she is a nice little sitting area outside judging by the outside it looks very nice okay just checked in and here's the room Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. As you are used to on this channel, we are robbing the Camino. <laughs> Just kidding. This was a robbery to be honest because we got this private room once again for 30 euros for a night. That's another night of stealing on Camino. It's Casa Ina. They don't have website. They don't have information on booking so you have to call in advance and get the rooms we will provide the contact down in our descriptions and you can find them on Gronze as well but here it is it smells wonderful this is the nicest smell we walked into you have a really clean two beds right here heating right here I don't know why but first time we have a really nice working TV a closet and da -da -da -da, a super nice private bathroom. I know for some standards it's like, oh my god, that bathroom is like so small, like what can you, why is it so nice? But if you've been on Camino, you know even this smallest bathroom is god given. When you have it all for yourself, your own toilet, your own nice shower with towels provided. Gonna be a nice shower later. And that's it guys. 
all that talk and I forgot to say they only accept cash payments so make sure you have cash with you 30 euros just like put it on the side for just in case mm -hmm. okay so unfortunately we don't have access to kitchen it, it is a bit bummer we did eat del dia we're not that hungry we just wanted to make like some popcorn some snackies so we have it they did advertise kitchen but we're arriving here they said there is no access to one but once again it is a really comfortable stay for one night it's really nice so do what you want with that information we're still satisfied so right now we're just gonna shower play a bit rest our bodies and thank you so much for watching if you like our videos please subscribe and hit that notification button so you, you know when we post and once again we will see you guys on the road and thank you for staying with us throughout this insane journey thank you so much